Good evening. Graduates, please be seated. And choir students, at this time, you will move to the choir area on the track. Each year, the senior class elects a teacher to be the master of ceremonies at graduation. Our senior class of 2022 has elected social studies teacher and coach, Mr. Zeke. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Zeke, a mentor to students. He embodies what it means to be a Christian educator who embraces all students. Mr. Zeke. Parents, faculty, and honored guests, on behalf of the class of 2022, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 64th commencement ceremony of Bishop Miege High School. We will begin as we start every event with a prayer. To lead us in the invocation is our chaplain, Father Anthony Mersman. Following the invocation, please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Before we begin, let's take a moment of silence to remember a classmate who is certainly with us in spirit today, Mackenzie Cohen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Father, your goodness knows no bounds. You've given us the most incredible gift in your Son, Jesus Christ, in his church, and the sacraments. We thank you for the gift of these students in front of me right now. Thank you for their time here at Bishop Miege, their example of love, their example of service, to their fellow students. Be with them now and always protect them and guide them in their lives to come. Give them a share of your own confidence, your own strength. We pray all of this through that same Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight was the we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night. 
Thank you, Mrs. Christie and the senior members of the Concert Chorale for starting us off with such beautiful music. On behalf of the Bishop Miege community, we'd like to welcome Dr. Vince Casconi, our superintendent, to the graduation ceremony tonight. We are blessed to have such a great faith-filled man to serve our archdiocese. Thank you. I first would like to thank the class of 2022 for giving me the honor of being the master of ceremonies for this graduation celebration and to say a few words. Years ago, Bill Reardon, a legendary former Bishop Miege teacher, came into my classroom after school and handed me a piece of paper and said, read it. This is what teaching is all about. It was a quote from Maya Angelou that read, they won't remember what you say, they won't remember what you did, but they will never forget the way you made them feel. Bill said, Coach Zeke, make sure every student who walks into your classroom feels important. Continue to build relationship. This paper with a quote on it is still in my room today. Every year at this time, I ponder these questions. How did we at Miege make graduates feel about their high school experience? Did they feel important? Will you look back and feel positive about your four years at Bishop Miege? In the last two weeks, I went around and asked seniors this question. If you had to describe your experience at Miege in one word or phrase, what would it be? Some of the most common answers were, Bishop Miege makes me feel safe. Did the students feel safe from bullying, from ridicule, ridicule, from disrespect from fellow students? Safe meaning that Miege is free from the violence occurring across the country, often in our schools. Or did they mean safe from COVID? This class survived online classes, Zoom, and all the mass mandates. We must remember most important job of a school is to make sure all students are safe. One student said, Bishop Miege is certainly safe, which is a comfort to all of us students. Bishop Miege made me feel holy, faithful. Many students said Miege made them feel closer to God. That is our school's mission. Through daily class prayer, retreats, all school masses, receiving sacraments and Kairos retreats, Bishop Miege became the vehicle to spread our Catholic identity and traditions for our students. Bishop Miege made me feel part of a community or a place that created new friendships. Many students mentioned all of their BFS. For an old person like me, that means best friends for life. And all the fun that they had at the school dances, games, plays, 80s mixers, and the Kairos retreats. One student proudly said, I will always remember high school because of the great times with great friends. Many students mentioned it was because of the friendly and caring teachers and coaches that they will always remember about Miege. One senior boy said, Miege teachers are my dogs that are the goats. And Jalen translated, Jalen means my Miege teachers are the greatest of all times. Bishop Miege gave student opportunities to make new friends in the herd the faith family activities, clubs, stream, robotics, sports teams, forensics, and numerous mission trips. Seniors, always remember that Miege created great friendships that will last forever. One student said, high school, what great, incredible memories, but more important together. The most common response from the class of 22 was, Bishop Miege made me feel at home. As a teacher of 40 years, coach, and former Miege parent, this makes me feel so proud. I view a home as a place where you are unconditionally loved in a safe and caring environment. Teddy Roosevelt once said, people don't care what you know until they know how much you care. All students mention how much Miege cared about their success, how Miege staff always inspired and motivated them. Seniors. Who would have thought that after the first day of school your freshman year, scared to death, not knowing anyone or anything, that four years later you would be calling this building, 
this facility and the people inside of it your second home. Bishop Miege will always be special. Always remember that your home is where your heart is. Bishop Miege will always be home for you. Please come back and see us. The key will be underneath the mat. In the future, when somebody asks you, how are your four years of Bishop Miege? I hope you smile, lean back and say, those were the best years of my life. Seniors, you will always be part of our special stagnation. In clothing, I would like to congratulate all the seniors who received acceptance to their dream schools. I would also like to congratulate those selecting trade schools, community colleges, joining the military, or for those taking a gap year to work and just to make some money, or even students that have no idea what they are doing next year. Remember, there is no one path for doing life. We celebrate all of you, class of 2022. You are all important. God bless, good luck in the future, and go Stags, go. At this time, Emily Lynn Sr. will present the class gift to Mr. Salisbury, the president of Bishop Meage High School. Mr. Salisbury, on behalf of the class of 2022, I am proud to present this check for $9,019 to Bishop Miege High School as our senior gift. We are very happy that this money will go to the Bridge to the Future Scholarship Endowment to help future Miege families afford tuition. Thank you, Emily. Good job. Emily and the class of 2022, thank you so much for this addition to our Bridge to the Future Endowment that will continue to provide financial assistance to our Bishop Miege families for many years to come. This idea of having a senior gift go towards helping families with tuition started nearly 32 years ago with the class of 1990 when they contributed a gift of $6,000 to this program. Each of the 33 graduating classes since including the class of 2022, has made a similar gift so that today, that cumulative gift from graduating classes has grown to a total of $840,437. Please give them a round of applause for that. Just so you know, this year's fund made it possible for over 240 students to attend Miege, who otherwise would not have been able to. It is a real tribute to the Miege class of 2022 that during this time of particular financial stress on our school community, that such a generous gift would be made to help our families for years to come. We're very proud of what this senior class has done to help make Bishop Miege available to more families in the future. A huge thank you to the class of 2022 and your parents. Thank you. Throughout eight semesters of high school, the top two students with the highest GPA in the class have earned the privilege of speaking at graduation. This year, the honorees were Emily Lynn and Sophia Anderson. We now welcome our first speaker, Sophia Anderson, to the podium. Sophia is a daughter of Brad and Leslie Anderson. Sorry about that. <laughs> Welcome friends, family, faculty members, and of course seniors to the 2022 graduation ceremony. My name is Sophia Anderson, and I'm truly honored to speak on behalf of the graduating class today. First, I would like to thank every person who made today and these last four years possible. Thank you to our administrators, counselors, faculty, teachers, parents, family, and friends for being with us not only today, but for our entire high school careers. There is no way we would have made it through without you all. 
Before writing this speech, I spent hours watching YouTube videos titled Best Graduation Speech Ever <laughs> and trying to think of a big metaphor that represented our time in high school. Maybe more like race cars, focusing so hard on getting to the finish line that we sometimes forgot to enjoy the journey getting there. Maybe we're like butterflies, entering high school as naive caterpillars, but surrounding ourselves with the cocoon that is the Miege community, coming out ready to spread our wings and fly. But rather than compare you to a race car or a butterfly, I think the best way to represent our time here is to go through our years at Miege together one last time. Our first days as Bishop Miege students were spent as scared freshmen, looking at our schedules and desperately trying to find our classrooms. Our first ever class was flex time. We went there to pick up our herd shirts and meet some of our peers for the first time. I personally went to Mr. Anderson's room where he greeted me as cuz because he noticed that our last names were the same on the attendance sheet. Back then I thought it was a little funny, maybe a little weird. <laughs> little did I know that today I would be thinking of him and every other member of the Miege community as real members of my family. Sophomore year, similar to freshman year, was full of new beginnings. Most of us found, or at least thought we found, our place and our people. We settled into friend groups, extracurriculars, and sports. As Mr. Creech says, we were wise fools. We thought we knew who we liked and disliked, what we wanted to do, and how we fit into Miege. At the end of our sophomore year, however, things changed. We were shaken out of our comfortable routines by the pandemic. Just as we had settled into the high school experience, we were blindsided by what many of us thought was a dream come true. We didn't have to go to school anymore. That dream, of course, quickly became a nightmare. Junior year began as sophomore year ended, virtually. By this point, we accepted that we weren't going to have the normal Bishop Miege experience. People constantly worried about us and how COVID was affecting our lives. Would wearing masks permanently affect our social skills? Would we remember our traditions like the vivas or the good morning, Mr. Salisbury's after Facebook masses and Zoom assemblies? After losing our normal schedules to online classes, would we succeed in college? What the adults asking these questions didn't yet know, however, is that we, as Miege students, would become nothing but stronger through the pandemic. We banded together and agreed that if wearing a mask or social distancing or even missing homecoming was what it took to stay in person, learn together, and be there for each other, we would do it. And although nobody could see it under those masks, we did it with a smile on our faces. This brings me to our senior year. Finally, things are back to almost normal. We're incredibly lucky to be able to be at this ceremony in person today. This year, we very enthusiastically returned to our normal traditions and took them even further. After surviving COVID and spending so much time apart, we wasted no opportunity to become closer than ever before. We forged new friendships, cheered at every sports game, went on Kairos, hung out in guidance, and celebrated our last months together. Even though we were never quite able to solve the mystery of Mrs. Weber's lost bell, <laughs> we became one of the closest and strongest classes that I think Miege has ever seen. COVID has been a huge part of our lives and our teenage experience. It's been challenging, scary, lonely, and sometimes even hopeless but I will always feel incredibly blessed for one part of the Corona experience. We are the only ones to discover what it's like to miss high school so much and then to actually get it back. Every high school class in history has graduated, regretting that they took the best four years of their lives for granted. We truly lived our last year together to the fullest, knowing exactly how lucky we were to have it. I will never forget my time at Bishop Miege, and I hope that you won't either. The future is scary, but remember, so is our first day here, and look at us now. Be proud of yourselves and your accomplishments. Find your purpose and your people, 
and don't ever take either for granted. And finally, thank you so much for what you brought to this community and the MIAGE experience. Class of 2022, congratulations. Thank you, Sophia. We now welcome our second speaker, Emily Lynn, to the podium. Emily is the daughter of TJ and Julie Lynn. Thank you. Hello, it is my great pleasure and honor to speak on behalf of the graduating class of 2022. I would like to again welcome the parents, grandparents, families, teachers, administrators, and guests. Thank you all for being here today. It is also my great pleasure and honor to welcome the Bishop Miege class of 2022 to our graduation. I would like to express my gratitude for all your support these past few years. I am incredibly grateful and proud to be graduating among these amazing people who have all been by my side throughout these last four years. To say that we have had a distinctive and eventful four years is an understatement. We have packed countless experiences and accomplishments into our time here, despite a global pandemic. We have had highs and lows, though through it all, we have had them together. Our accomplishments as a class are impressive. As a class, we have won 18 state titles, put on 57 productions, led five Kairos retreats, completed 2,784 service hours, and so much more. But our high school experiences aren't limited to the kind of accomplishments that can be counted. Whether it is meeting lifelong friends, finding a true passion, or growing in our faith, we all have discovered in our own way what it means to be a stag. And as we have done these things, we have found and built our community here at Miege. And incredible community is truly what Miege is all about. It is the support and direction we have found within this community that has prompted us to take chances and opportunities to grow. And it is within this community that we have matured and we have learned so many lessons for all areas of life. Of course, the primary environment we have learned these lessons is in the classrooms here at Miege, and our teachers have imparted these lessons. But our Miege teachers do not just teach academic content. Our Miege teachers have been more than just teachers. They have also been role models, sharing advice and knowledge that spans beyond content objectives and curriculum standards, teaching us how to be contributing members of the world. Many of our teachers here are known for their catchphrases or sayings, there is Mrs. Wingate's every rule, every student, every day. And Coach Zeke's lids down, lids down, let me see your eyes. And Mr. Wilcox's famous phrase, that will be $12 when you ask to leave the room. While many of these sayings normally make us laugh or perhaps even annoy us at times, there are a few well-known words of wisdom from teachers that have stuck with me throughout the years and seem particularly apt as we graduate and move on to what is next. The first one is from our junior English teacher, Mrs. Schweitzer, whose favorite line is, show your underbelly. While this quote may seem odd the first time you hear it, it has a relevant and timeless lesson for our futures. Show your underbelly is supposed to remind us to bring our authentic selves into each situation and each new day. As we leave the comforts of our high school experience, we must also remind ourselves that, through all the discomfort our new experiences may bring, we will reap the most reward by showing up as our true, genuine selves. To do this, we must be vulnerable and trust that those around us will embrace us, even with our flaws. The other quote that always stuck with me is a line from our history teacher, Mr. Wilcox. Before a test or new discussion, he would ask the class, are you ready? to which we would respond, I was born ready. And even though we most likely were not ready for the A-push or government test, it gave us the boost of confidence we needed to push through the doubt. And that is what I encourage us all to do right now at this point in our lives. Graduating and starting a new chapter can seem scary, but we need to trust that we are ready, even if we are not sure yet what we need to be ready for. 
we are prepared for whatever is next. Academic knowledge, life lessons, and priceless experiences have given us all what we need as we move on. Most of all, we need to trust that we have the underbelly and spirit to do authentic and amazing things so that when the world looks us in the face and asks, are you ready? We have the confidence to look it right back and say, I was born ready. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2022. Awesome. Thank you, Emily. Congratulations again to Sophia and Emily. Now I welcome Mrs. Ingen Principal to announce our presidential scholars. Each year at graduation, Bishop Miege honors 10 students who have achieved the highest cumulative grade point average in their class for all four years. This year was extremely impressive, and there are 40 seniors, one-fourth of this class, who had a cumulative GPA of over 4.0. That is a record number of scholars. Tonight, we recognize the top 10 who are presidential scholars. Please stand up when I call your name. And please hold your applause until all 10 names have been read. The presidential scholars in alphabetical order are Blake Allen, Sophia Anderson, Francesca Desert, Julian Gallegos Chavira, Emily Lynn, Emily Moorfeld, Claire O'Brien, Sophia Nordling, Nicholas Randant, and Paul Roof. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to your presidential scholars. You may be seated and remember this is the highest academic honor our senior students can receive. Bishop Miege, class of 2022, on behalf of the faculty, the staff, the administration, the board of trustees, and our superintendent. We give gratitude to God for this ceremony celebrating your class, your parents, your teachers, counselors, campus minister, staff, coaches, and all the family members who walked with you on this journey. For so many reasons, Bishop Miege will always remember your class. Collectively, the class of 2022, you have modeled virtue. You've made significant contributions, which were shared by Emily. You're never to be forgotten. You will always be treasured. And after tonight's ceremony, your name will be added to the thousands of proud alumni at Bishop Miege. With lifelong friendships formed in high school and future Miege Connection, you will move on to your next phase of life your important link in our community. Once a stag, always a stag. Students, tonight, as you walk across this stage to get your diploma, we will call you by name. It's such an awe-inspiring moment. Relish this walk, and remember it is the Lord himself who has created you and formed you for this very night. Audience, each person in the class of 2022 has worked for four years for graduation. Before we begin calling names, a simple request to all in attendance. Please refrain from using no noisemakers or other items so that each individual student is afforded a positive experience with an opportunity for their name to be heard. Please limit your responses and applause until all the students have received their diplomas. With your help, we're going to give each graduate what they deserve to honor their accomplishment. So thank you for your assistance. Tonight, note that the graduates who are wearing stoles are recognized as members of the National Honor Society. Graduates, you will come to the stage row by row. As you exit the row, you will proceed onto the stage via the steps on the south side of the podium. Row one, please stand and advance to the stage to receive your diploma conferred by Mr. Randy Salisbury, 
Dr. Vince Cassoni, and Father Anthony Mersman. Mr. Salisbury, Board of Trustees, Superintendent of the Archdiocese of Kansas City and Kansas, and the Bishop Miege community, I present to you the candidates for graduation, the Bishop Miege Class of 2022. Blake Michael Allen. Sophia Marie Anderson. William Edward Anderson. Pedro Arturo Ariata. Delonzo Wayne Bagley. Isabella Celeste Barraza. Joaquin Dominique Barrera. Colin Michael Batliner. Ava Kashmira Kosmiski Belchez. Cooper Raymond Benz. Christian Trayvon Bowen. Kellen James Boylan. Alice Catherine Brandt. Caroline Ann Brandt. Ryan Richard Brennan. Jack Joseph Brown. Ian Michael Brown McLean. <laughs> Jalen DeMarte Birch. Allison Grace Burns. Charles Kolosh Callahan. Abraham Jesus Caro Martinez. Olivia Anasi Serda. Hayden Robert Cole. Kylie Elizabeth Condon. Isabel Caroline Louisa Copeland. Michael Ray Cowan. Daisy Victoria Cuellar. Hillary Jane Daniel. Paris Alexis Daniels. Jack Gamel Daverin. Luca Jacob Dawson. Francesca Rose Desert. 
Aaron Ainsley Donegan. Jenna Marie Dorset. Benjamin Webb Eschelbrenner. Ryan Patrick Eskew. Dianaro Espino. Emery Dawn Etzenhauser. Elizabeth Ann Falstrom. Reagan Elizabeth Fanning. Joseph Thomas Farrar. Darren Dean Faulkner. Selma Marie Figgy Torado. Cecilia Ann Fisk. Henry Michael Fitzgerald. Abigail Grace Flack. Meredith Joanne Ford. Peter Kim Fuentes. Julian Gallegos Chavita. Georgina Garcia. Emma Elizabeth Golding. Diego Armando Grajeda. Noel Hayden Griffin. Olivia Catherine Griggs. Mark Anthony Xavier Guatamus. Tyler Dwayne Hackney. Jonathan David Hike. Xavier Ernest Hall. Andrew Michael Hamilton. Michael James Hansen. Maya Grace Haug. Joseph Miller Hayes. Nellie Rose Hellings. Gabriella Margaret Henderson Artis. Reese Robert Hendrick. William Robert Harold Herrick. Jackson Ryan Hosher. Ella Caroline Howard. Fionn Marie Hughes. Liam Emery Highland. Woo! 
Grayson Lynn Einet. Sean Patrick Ismert. Amanda Grace Jankowski. Eric Robert Johnson. Brennan Ford Johnston. Nina Elizabeth Kalmus. Colin Vincent Keeney. Liam Matthew Kilfoyle. Monica Gabrielle Knight. Henry Patrick Nubley. Natalie Marie Kaler. Mason Donegan come. Annie Jane Lawton. Jack Lewis Levy. Victor Manuel Lopez. Emily Ann Lynn. Daniel Lane Martin. Yair Ohani Martinez Zambrano. Imagine Renee McCallop. Madeline McDowell. Shay Mary McGraw. Riley Josephine McMurray. Daniel Francis Mira the Fourth. Genevieve Marie Meyer. Venicio Eduardo Mendez. Vincent Paul Miller. Grant Michael Moffat. Matthew Stephen Moeller. Catherine Elise Moores. Emily Rose Moorfeld. Jackson Grady Noblet. Elena Grace Nolke. Sophia Elizabeth Nordlein. Claire Rochine O'Brien. Reagan Danielle O'Connor. Thomas Cade O'Connor. Mary Madison Olson. Yeah. 
Samuel Michael Panis. Kara Rose Parisi. Elizabeth Ray Perez. Riley Matthew Phelan. Juan Diego Platas. Nicholas Andrew Portillo. Nicholas Raymond Randant. Alex Regoza. James Reese Reamer. Miranda Nicole Reyes. Dawson Jesse Ribby. Lola Elena Rios. Ramon Paul Rodriguez. Zoran Maximilian Rodriguez. Rodrigo Rico Rogers. Valeria Lucila Rogers. Grace Francis Rowland. Lydia Laura Pearl Romine. Paul Andrew Roof. Mauricio Salas. Rex Matthew Sasoff. John Joseph Sebus. Adriana Elise Marie Smith. Annika Rose Marie Smith. Max Walter Smith. Graham Francis Spearman. Matthew Christopher Spate. Samantha Lauren Staley. Samantha Savala Stockton. Brianna Marie Suarez. James Patrick Sutherland. Jacob Jackson Leo Tholen. Philip Clay Thomas III. William West Vanny. Megan Lynn Van Meter. Jennifer Vega. Adrian.
Adrian Antonio Velez. Dominique Daniel Viegas. Delaney Grace Voitenko. Laura Eve Weres. Corbin Michael Warner. Johnny Warren. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> William John Watson. <coughs> Elizabeth Venice Wexeldorfer. <laughs> Jacob Edward Welsh. Ava Isabel Werner. Yeah. Eleanor Jean Werner. Yeah. Edward Anthony White. Yeah. Jake Preston Whitmore. Olivia Sage Williams. Maxwell Philip Wingate. Jordan Isaiah Wolf. Michelangelo James Worthy. And Lola Marie Virginia Wrigley. It is now my privilege to present the Bishop Meage class of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, your newest graduates of Bishop Meage High School. Congratulations. And now I call to the podium, Mr. Randy Salisbury, our president. And I offer up my congratulations, graduates. You're no longer seniors, you are graduates. But at this time, we'd also like to have our shout outs of gratitude. So first of all, graduates of 2022, let's give a round of applause to your parents, families, and friends who supported you along this journey. At this time, I'd like our faculty and staff to stand up and be recognized. Thank you, faculty and staff. Class of 2022, congratulations, and always remember there are joyful and sorrowful times, and it's not easy, yet God has provided us a glorious kingdom. God is good. God is always good. We are many parts. We are one body. And every day, let us continue to pray for peace. And always remember, you are loved. God bless you. Thank you, class of 2022, for allowing me to serve as your master of ceremonies. It's been a very special honor for me. Graduates, always remember the world has plenty of dreamers. 
while they are dreaming, the really happy, engaged, and successful people are busy doing. Stop dreaming and start doing. God bless you. Go Stags, go. Please remain in the stands as the graduates process out. Thank you again. Please stand for the benediction from Father Mershman. After a prayer. Okay. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, our Father, we thank you once again for these incredible students, for their time with us. Thank you for the effect they've had on all of us. Continue to bless them abundantly. Give them an incredible share of your Holy Spirit, that they can know your presence and follow you with confidence. We ask for the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Viva Bishop Miege High School. Viva! Viva Bishop Miege Seniors, Class of 2022. Viva! Viva Jesus Christ! Viva! Amen. Again, please remain seated in the bleachers' parents until the students have processed out.